Comedian Jon Stewart has been on a roll lately. He's been owning Republican politicians, shining light on issues that have been propagandized heavily by our mainstream media. And on top of that, last week, he utterly owned Larry Summers. So this has led to one individual making a conclusion about what Jon Stewart should do, specifically where he should take his advocacy next. And that is the presidency. Howard Stern is saying not only that Jon Stewart should run for president, but that he owes it to the country to do just that. As The Hill explains, if President Biden chose not to run for re-election, Stern said on his eponymous SiriusXM show, then he figured out who should run for president on the Democratic side. His name is Jon Stewart, Stern said. That guy is so fucking smart and bright and also witty and really measured when he takes on a debate. Stern told listeners about the Apple TV Plus, the problem with Jon Stewart host. He knows how to talk and, you know, he would work his ass off to be a good president. Stern, 69, nice, said. I'm telling you, he could also win because people like Jon Stewart, Stern said, noting how Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky was a comedic actor before entering the political world. Praising Stewart's advocacy work on Capitol Hill, Stern said, remember when John went to Congress and lobbied for the 9-11 first responders? Watch when he talks to politicians and he confronts them, Stern said. Watch the guy. He just makes a lot of good points. He owes it to this country, Stern said. The guy would be terrific, and I think he'd do it, Stern added. So, for those of you who are longtime listeners to this show, you know that I have a very strong rule against celebrities and comedians getting involved in politics. I almost always shoot it down immediately. With that being said, I would make an exception for Jon Stewart. I think that being an effective politician also requires you to be an effective communicator, and Jon Stewart by far is one of the most effective communicators in our country. I mean, and I say this as somebody who, growing up, learning about politics, I learned about it from Jon Stewart watching The Daily Show every single night, and he continues to impress. Now, I don't necessarily know that his politics would be as radical as mine if I saw an entire fleshed-out policy platform, but having said that, though, within the confines of our terrible neoliberal system, do I think that he could actually make a difference if he were to be elected president? Yeah, I do. I think that he could get a lot of things done. Having said that, though, I don't think that any one politician is a panacea. I'm, I, I've kind of moved past this thinking that one politician can and will save us. I think that those days are gone. I think that things are too bad for all of our solutions to be solved with, with just one individual. Real change has to come from the bottom up and not the top down. Having said that, though, I think that Jon Stewart, if he chose to run, could get a lot of good accomplished. But the question is, would he do it? Howard Stern says yes. But Jon Stewart already answered this question. So last year, after he uh, basically lobbied Congress by shaming Republicans into supporting health care for veterans, well, there was an op-ed that said he should run for president, and he was very clear. He took the Twitter to write, um, no thank you. So he doesn't want to do it. He's already made this clear. But if I might add, I think that somebody who doesn't want to be president is really the best person because there's so many people who seek out public office, not necessarily because they have this belief system that they're adhering to or they're doing it for altruistic reasons. I think that most politicians, and this is a generalization, but I think it's true. I think that most politicians run for public office for self-aggrandizement. Somebody who doesn't want to be in public office is really the best person because they're not thinking two to three steps ahead about their own career, what they can do when they get out and become a lobbyist for an industry that helped them get elected and then that they represented in Congress. We need someone who doesn't want to be president. And that's why I think that there was such a large amount of appeal for someone like Bernie Sanders, even though he's run for president twice and is considering a third run if Biden doesn't run. It's clear that Bernie Sanders never wanted to do this. Back in 2016, actually 2015, before he announced his 2016 run, he was trying to get Elizabeth Warren to take on Hillary Clinton, but she didn't want to do it. So he chose to step up. And had he had broader political ambitions, don't you think he would have pursued them at an earlier age, not when he was in his 70s? And you see, not wanting to be in power that made a difference on Bernie Sanders' campaign. I mean, as difficult as 
it is for him to win in a Democratic primary with all of this media propaganda. You can tell that he actually cares about the issues that he's talking about. And even if I have my disagreements with Bernie Sanders, you can't doubt the sincerity of him, right? There's a reason why he is consistently the most popular politician in America, and it's because he means what he says, and that's evident, right? When he's trying to be a little bit, I don't know, I guess coy about his real beliefs, it comes through. So there is value in authenticity, and that's because we're lacking it in politics. And when you see somebody who's actually authentic, that does wonders. I mean, Trump is not the best example. He lies every two seconds, but there's something authentic about him that isn't applicable to other Republicans. I mean, compare him with Ron DeSantis. Everything that Ron DeSantis says feels rehearsed and phony and contrived. But with regard to Donald Trump, even though he's lying, he still says things that we know he's really thinking. Like he says the quiet part loud, and that's part of the appeal for, the appeal for Republicans. So if we had politicians that actually wanted to run for pure reasons and not selfish reasons, I think that the country would be in a better place. But having said that, though, that doesn't mean that all of our problems would be solved, right? It's not a supply issue. It's, it's the institutions. The institutions are the problem. Capitalism is the problem. We've commodified every single aspect of American life, including elections. So if you want to get elected, you essentially have to pledge fealty to large multinational corporations. Otherwise, good luck getting elected because that requires money. And trying to raise money using small grassroots donors is very difficult. I would know. I've brought on probably more than 100 politicians who've tried doing it. And just a couple of them have gotten elected. So, you know, we're in a situation where I feel like as de desperation increases, as so many crises get worse, I'm willing to try different things. And if that means running one celebrity, one comedian... I'm for it if it's Jon Stewart. But for anyone else, I won't make that uh, that exception for them because I think that Jon Stewart is unique in the sense that he really does care about these things and he is educated and he is able to speak about these things in a way that makes them easily digestible. But any other politician or any other celebrity that wants to become a politician, no. I'll write it off almost immediately because I don't want somebody to get involved because they can. They have fame and name recognition. Therefore, they could become a member of Congress or a president. I want them to get involved if they actually want to fix the fucking issues that plague the country.